In the summer of 2020, I launched a project that I'd spent years envisioning. It's called 1826, and the mission was to design high quality products that can be worn by photographers and creatives alike. We started simple releasing a single product first, and that was hats. And then our second launch was our first collection. It's called the Faded Collection. And for this, we spared no expense. We drove across the country, making a bunch of stops along the way and creating a promo video that to this day, I'm extremely proud of. Thanks to my buddy, Chris, for putting that together. And to wrap out the year, we released our staple hoodie as part of the Faded Collection. We called it Faded Collection Part Two. This is a hoodie we wanna keep in the store all the way through the end of 2021, so everyone has access to it. In today's video, we're running the numbers and I'm explaining how much all this costs. So any of you dreamers, designers, creatives out there who have a similar vision and want to create something for yourself. This video is going to have all my knowledge and insight of launching this company. So hopefully you can get there a little faster than I did. YouTube, what is good? So like the intro said today, we are breaking down the total cost involved with me launching my brand 1826 last year. Now it's really important you understand 1826 is not some giant business. This is a small business that I started essentially to replace merchandise for my social media presence. Most social media people, most photographers, they sell some type of merch. They do it through drop shipping, which is not something I like because I prefer to build a real brand. That is where my work history is in. If you follow the channel for a long time, you know I've done all the marketing material for a brand here in Atlanta for about five years. When that job went away, I decided, you know, I'm going to create my own brand and do this thing that I enjoy doing, which is building a brand identity, which is what I did with 1826. So to start this year, most of our designs were centered around things that I had previously used on my own merch, and now we're moving into new designs in 2021. So let's get into the total cost. Two important notes though. One, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna talk about them later because 1826.com is built on Squarespace. But if at any point in the video you get inspired to start a website, go to squarespace.com slash Evan Ramp to start a free trial, and you can use code Evan Ramp to get 10% off your first purchase. The second important note, 30% off on 1826.com if you use the code REALMVP. I am doing this because I want these products to get in the hands of as many people as possible. Quality is the biggest piece of 1826. It's what I'm dedicated to. The hoodies, this is something you'd get at Urban Outfitters. This is one of my favorite hoodies I own. The crew neck is one of my favorite crew necks I own, and I did that by design. I wanted these to be things that I loved wearing. So. 30% off to everyone, use code REALMVP, try one out because I know you're gonna love it and it helps me out in future launches because you'll know how high quality the products are. So let's get into the total cost of everything. First thing we're talking about is the cost of the goods themselves. So the first thing we did was hats, like I mentioned. The total cost of hats was $1,889.15. That was our first launch. And after that, we took that money, I paid off some of the Uline credits that I had, which we're gonna talk about later, and I took that money and put it into our second collection, which is called the Faded Collection. So the Faded Collection consisted of a t-shirt and a crew neck. The t-shirt is on this awesome, soft material right here. No Bella canvas, no gilding around here. This is my personal one, so it's kind of wrinkled, but it's got the logo on the front right there. And then we did this crew neck. The cost of those crew necks was $2,210.83 and the t-shirts cost $1,652.55. So keep that in mind, t-shirts are always gonna be less expensive. So if you're starting a brand, that's why most people start with t-shirts. And then the last thing we launched was this right here, the Faded Collection Hoodie, 1826 logo on the front, and then we have the classic skeleton logo on the back. The cost of these was $3,876.91. But like I said, the idea with that is to keep that in stock all year, have it be a staple product of the website. So as people find the site, find out about the brand through their YouTube channel, there will always be something on there they can go and pick up. So that is the cost of the goods, the total being $9,629.44. A lot of money to spend on goods, but I am proud of the fact I was able to get three launches done in one year. Now on the website, we also sell stickers. Now we did two different sticker launches. We did a pack of stickers like this. It's got a bunch of different ones in here. And I think these are still available on the site. I think we have quite a few left. Those cost, I 
think 200 and yeah, $271 dollars 95 cents because we ordered a bunch of those. That was another thing I just always wanted to be in stock on the website. Now the Faded Collection 2, I believe there's only one or two of these left. This is something we did with the second collection. Love the way these stickers look. They're bigger, they're designed for a laptop or something like that. This one, especially right here. It's so sick. So those stickers cost $44.95. Now the next big expense we had outside of the actual goods was the website. Now like I said, Squarespace is the sponsor on today's video because 1826.com is built on Squarespace. But I have a long standing history with Squarespace because I built my first site, EvanRamp.com, with them. So basically, EvanRamp.com was a result of me having a website that was on one of these coded platforms. I had a web developer. I always had to call him and be like, yo, why is the blog page not working? Why is this doing this? What's going on? The photo's up here, the words are down here. It was a nightmare. So eventually I went to Squarespace and I used the free trial. And ever since then, it's something I've recommended and suggested to any creators out there organically. And then they became a sponsor on this YouTube channel and it's like a match made in heaven. So when it became time for me to build a site for 1826, I used their commerce plan, which is their most expensive plan. It cost me $480, but they have a basic basic business plan that costs $18 a month and you save 30% if you sign up for the entire year. And I actually have a video on this YouTube channel where I show you how to build a website exactly like 1826.com. You can follow along in that video, take it step by step and build your own website using the free trial at squarespace.com slash evanramp. And when it's time to sign up, you can use code evanramp to get started. In that video, you'll see how you can build out products, how you can set up your homepage, get your contact me page going. I'll link that down below in the description as well. So thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and being a big part of both of my businesses, evanramp.com as well as 1826.com. So that was one expense right there. Now our other big expense this year was shipping material. And it's not a huge expense because for the most part with clothes, you can ship in those poly bags, which is what we did for the hoodies as well as the t-shirts. We have two different sizes. The hoodies come in one size, the t-shirts have another size. But the biggest expense was the boxes for the hats. You see, here's my thing with hats. As a consumer who's ordering a hat, if I get my hat in the mail and it looks like this, I'm gonna be upset. So when I was figuring out how I wanted to ship them, I knew poly bags were gonna be much less expensive, but I went with the boxes because I wanted to make sure people got their product intact with no damage. So the total cost from Uline, that also accounts for things like shipping labels, was $595. Now, here's the thing to remember. I already had a shipping service from evanramp.com and I also had a label printer and I also had a scale and all those things from my other business. So those are expenses that could be added in to your total cost that I'm not including in today's video. Last thing is the trip across the country to shoot the promo material for the Faded Collection. Now that is another thing that not everyone is gonna be doing. For marketing, you can probably figure out things that are gonna be more cost effective for you. Just get your friends to wear the product, make good photos, utilize Instagram marketing, those types of things. But for our trip, it cost us $1,200. That's a rough estimate. It might be a little more, it might be a a little less. I didn't bother crunching all the numbers together because it's not something as relevant to everyone else. Which brings our grand total on the video, our grand total on the year to $12,221. Now here's something important to remember if you're watching this video. You don't need $12,000 to start a brand. That is what I needed to start a brand and do it the way that I wanted to do it. And part of the reason I was able to do that is because I already have one business that helps with this brand. They work together. So I have evanramp.com, I have my YouTube channel, Evan Ramp, I have all the things I do with social media that help me generate sales and generate marketing for this company. If you're just starting a company by yourself, you don't have all of those things and that's okay but you also don't need to spend as much as I spent because it doesn't make as much sense too. All the products that I bought this year that cost so much money to buy, there are potential buyers for those things. If you're just getting started, you need to identify what your potential audience is and who's gonna be buying the product first before you make the investment in the product itself. That is number one. You need to believe in the idea that you are creating first and then bring the idea to life knowing that there's an audience for it. That's one of the 
the biggest mistakes I see people make is they create something that one, they wouldn't actually use or wear themselves and they're not passionate about it, or two, they just create something that they think is cool that they haven't identified an audience or a market for, and then they wonder, why is this product not doing well? You need to know why you're doing the thing that you are doing, and you need to build brick by bricks. So think of it like this, you buy 20 stickers, you sell those 20 stickers, take that money, turn around and buy 30 stickers and take the remaining money and put it into the infrastructure of your business. What you're doing there is you are growing the size of the business. Every time you do that, the business gets bigger. But the biggest mistake a lot of people make is they sell those 20 stickers and they spend the money from the 20 stickers on something that's not gonna grow the business. And then they wonder, yo, why is this thing not growing? It's because the money you made from the 20 stickers is not going into more stickers or more things that are gonna help the company grow. So keep that in mind. Figure out where you're gonna get paid from. If you have an idea that you wanna build, remember it takes time to have the luxury of taking money out of that thing you're growing because every time you take money out, it shrinks. So for me in 1826, I haven't made any money from this company yet. I'm hoping by the end of the year, maybe I'll be in a position to. And if not, that's totally fine with me because I have my other businesses. One big goal for this year is to not use money from the other businesses to grow 1826 anymore. I wanna keep growing this thing organically in the right way, but we'll get there in time. So that's today's video. That's all my advice. Hope it helped you out. There's some other stuff we can talk about like taxes and things like that and how the money spent on goods only affects the taxes for the products sold and then they roll over the next year with inventory, all this stuff. But I don't really wanna get into that today because it's a little bit too complicated. This is more for everyone trying to get started. Those are my numbers. That's what I did. That's my advice and I hope it helped you out. If it did, hit that thumbs up button. I'll answer comments for the first two hours. Y'all are the truth. See you guys next time.